In this episode, let's look at the metadata directory of the Yakto project. The metadata is the core of the Yakto project. Metadata has several important subdivisions. The meta classes. This directory contains this star.bb class files. Class files are used to abstract common code so it can be reused by multiple packages. Every package inherits the base.bb class file. Examples of the other important class files are autotools.bb class files, which in theory allows any autotool enabled package to work with the Yocto project with minimal effort. Another example is the kernel dot bb class that contains the common code and functions for working with linux kernel functions like image generation or packaging also have their specific class files such as image dot bb classes uh, root of s star dot bb class and package star bb class so bb class is kind of a reusable recipes for the different layers so that's basically it means and the next directory is the meta conf this directory contains the core set of configuration files that starts from bitpick.conf and from which all the other configuration files are included see the include statement that end of the uh, bitpick.conf file and you will note that even local conf is located sorry loaded from there while bitpick.com sets up the defaults you can often override these by using the local conf file machine file or the distribution configuration file so for example okay let's now look at the meta conf okay and at this you have this meta under meta you have the classes as it says it has a lot of class files which kind of uh, shared recipes then you have conf it contains the machine configuration distro configuration machine sdk multi config bit big config as it says bit big config is where everything starts so here if you see the include uh, conf file get so linkage between native cross native sdk layouts so these are all the directories that it, it tries to find So what it says is the bit conf file you will not even the local conf so let me just search the local conf inside the bit conf so you will understand you see you can use this whatever so but the local conf is kind of started here so it requires the version conf side conf auto conf and then the local conf which kind of uh, these are the files that are included for your bitwig uh, build oh, sorry the bitwig basically includes these files to configure your distribution or other different configurations that uh, your build needs here you can see the, the machine configuration sdk machine configuration distro configuration the default setup config file guns of course the documentation licenses and sanity configurations so that's the use of the, the configuration directory or uh, these are the things that it contains then meta conf machine so if you look at the meta conf then you have this machine this directory contains all the machine configuration files if you set a machine equal to qmuom x86 the open embedded build system looks for the qmuom qmu x86.conf file in this directory the, inc the include directory contains various data 
common to multiple machines. If you want to add support for a new machine to the actual project, look in this directory. So it is something like if you want to add a new machine to the project, this is where we can command add. So for example, tomorrow you might you might build uh, for a new machine altogether. So you would add it here. So you can see Kimyom um, x86, sorry, um, 64, um, Wi-Fi architecture, MIPS architecture, everything is supported. Then you have the MetaConf distro. So this is the directory here. This contains uh, the contents of this directory controls in a distribution specific configurations. For the Yakto project, the default setup.conf is the main file here. This directory includes the versions and SSC or source date definitions for applications that are configured here. An example of an alternative configuration might be Pokey bleeding conf, although this file mainly inherits the configuration from Pokey. So here you can see the default and inside you have different include files. So here if you open and see it has a lot of includes are basically uh, included here and it basically contains the distribution configurations. Then similarly we have a meta con machine SDK. You can see MetaConf, we have this machine SDK where it supports ARC64, i586, i686, PowerPC architectures, and x 64 The Open Embedded build system searches this directory for configuration files that corresponds to the value of the SDK machine. By default, the Red Britain 64 with x86 files ship with the Yakto project that support some SDK hosts. However, it is possible to extend that support to other SDK hosts by ad adding additional configuration files in the subdirectory within another layer. So it is something like if you want to add your machine for the SDK support, so you can add another configuration file here. Then you have the meta files. So then meta, let's go to files. Uh, this directory contains common uh, license files and several text files used by the build system. The text files contain minimal device information and lists, list of files and directories which are with known permissions. So it contains the device table minimal txt. This basically contains the minimal information about the files and directories. The next directory that we will look at is the metalib. <clears throat> this directory contains open embedded Python library code used during the build process. So if you see, there is metalib, I think which contains all the different libraries that are required for uh, the bit -bake to build. The next you have meta recipes BSP. So this directory contains anything linking to the specific hardware or hardware configuration information such as Jboot and Grub. So basically. Uh, the BSP content. This is the rest of the BSP. Which it has contained a lot of different subdirectories, such as uboot, uh, the lib, scpa, grub, genu, efi. Okay, there are a lot of things. Let's not go in detail. The next directory is Meta Recipe Connectivity. The directory contains libraries and applications related to communication with other devices. So I think here you would be able to find all the TCP IP and other stuff. So IP related, IP router, uh, int, inet, utils, and not other stuff, DHCP. Okay, the network related uh, libraries would be here. The, sorry, the configurations would be here. The next is the meta recipe score. This directory contains what is needed to build a basic working Linux image, including commonly used dependencies. So this is probably the basic uh, Linux distribution. Like you can see, it is all of the, the base files, password, busybox, core utils, dbus, dbus suite, 
Okay, there are a lot of these packages. The configurations for these packages are available. In the recipes core. Next, you have Meta Recipes Dev Tools. So this contains tools that are primarily used by the build system. The tools, however, can also be used on the target. So in this Dev Tools, I think you can find uh, a lot of things, including the Python also. So last time when we did a Python installation for our image, uh, we used something or the Python from here. So that's the dev tools. The next directory is the meta recipes extended. This directory contains non-essential applications that add features compared to the alternative in core. You might need this directory for full tool functionality. The meta recipes genome. <coughs> this directory contains all things related to GDK plus application framework. Then you have Meta Recipes Graphics. This directory contains X and other graphically related system libraries. Meta Recipes Kernel. This directory contains the kernel and generic applications and libraries that have uh, strong kernel dependencies. So this contains the recipes related to kernel. The next directory that we will look at is uh, Meta Recipes Multimedia. This directory contains code Next directory that we we'll look at is Meta Recipes Multimedia. This directory contains codecs and support utilities for audio, image, and video. So this is basically related to multimedia uh, things. So this is the multimedia. Next directory is the Meta Recipes RT. This directory contains package and image recipes for using and testing the preempt RT kernel. So if you want to make the Linux kernel as uh, real time, you have to set the uh, scheduling mechanism to preempt. So probably this is some setting which you will have to do it under recipes RT. Then meta recipes minus sato. So this directory contains sato demo reference UI UX and its associated applications and configuration data. <clears throat> the meta recipe support. This directory contains recipes used by other recipes but that are not directly included in images. That is dependencies of other recipes. The meta site. This directory contains a list of cached results for various architectures because certain auto contest results cannot be determined when cross-compiling due to the test not able to run on a live system. The information in this directory is passed to Autocon for the various architectures. Okay, so this is the one. So these are, I think, architecture-related uh, configurations. Sorry, the list of cached results for various architectures. Then the meta recipes.txt. This file is a description of the contents of recipes star. So if you see recipes.txt, you can see that it contains what are the contents of the recipe star. So for example, recipes minus BSP. It's like anything that is links with the specific hardware or hardware configuration information. Recipes with the connectivity libraries and applications related to communication with other devices. So such information. The recipe score will have what's needed to build the basic working Linux image, including commonly used dependencies. So likewise, you have uh, recipe score, recipe dev tools, extended, genome, graphic, kernel, multimedia, RT, SATO, and support. So this is the, uh, I would say, the directories that we have just saw. Okay, so well now we now kind of understood what constitutes the meta directory. So in the previous episodes, we have dealt through the high level source directory. And after that, we saw the, the, the build directory, what it contains. So that's it for this episode.
Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in learning, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded Linux and Internet of Things. Leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion.